if you're after the Platinum Trophy in Horizon Forbidden West, there's a few hidden ones and some collectible ones that you're probably going to need a hand with. Hopefully this video will give you a bit of help in picking up those tricky ones that you might just not be able to find. Starting from the top of the list, past the story trophies, I'm not spoiling those, we have Chose a Desert Commander. Now this one isn't highlighted on the map at any point, so you have to do a bit of exploring. You need to head to the Arrowhan settlement and talk to both Draka and Yara and then complete their questline. Once this is done, the trophy will pop. Next up is Saved the Daunt. Fairly easy one, just make sure you've completed all of the green exclamation mark quests in Barren Light and Chain Scrape. After these are done, you'll have a new bronze trophy. The next three are all easily obtainable. The people in question will be found at your base and you can pick these up at any time before the main quest ends. If you do finish the main quest, you can still do this, but they'll be in different places around the map. Tornecks are a staple of Horizon, and this is no exception. There are five Tornecks that you need to override for this trophy, and they're found at the following locations on the map. One thing to note, you will not be able to do one of them until quite late on in the story. There's also another Tornec which doesn't count towards this trophy, but it is part of a cauldron which you'll need to complete anyway. After overriding all of them, you'll get a bronze and a silver trophy for your troubles. The rebel camps are a tricky one. Uh, these often involve high level human enemies that will swarm you if you attempt to go in too aggressively. Unfortunately, my map has hidden some of them since they've been completed, but there are six in total. Once you've completed the fifth, you'll get a call from Erend, who will then guide you to the final one, at which point the silver trophy will drop for you. There are six cauldrons to get through in Forbidden West, and two of these are accessed via the main story. The other four, however, are located here, and all you've got to do is get to the end of them for these trophies to pop. Hunting Grounds trophies are fairly self-explanatory. There are four grounds in total, and you need to obtain three stripes in all three trials to get both a bronze and a silver trophy. If you leave this until late game, it's not too difficult. Killing all of the machines is probably one that might take a while, but the story does provide plenty of opportunities to take down most of them. If not, just work your way around the sites after you finish the game and you'll mop these up without an issue. Similarly, riding the regular mounts, you can override these from the very start of the game, so just sneak up on one, hold triangle and you're good to go. Scanning machine types is the only missable trophy in the game. I'm not going to spoil anything story-wise, but you need to make sure that you scan everything that you encounter if it looks unique. Every single enemy with the exception of one will appear in the combat arena or the open world, so if you miss them you can go back but the final boss fight includes a scannable enemy that you cannot repeat unless you reload a save. Completing a long glide is fairly easy. Just head to the top of the mountain near the base, jump off and open the shield wing. Gauntlet runs will appear after a certain point in the game, and you can take them on by visiting this area. Once you've done one, you'll be invited to a second. Win that, and you'll get this trophy. Rebel outposts are similar to the camps, but a lot easier. Just beat four of these in the world, and this one will pop. Relic Ruins will show up around the world, but if you want this trophy quickly, these are the first three that I'd recommend going for. Completing an arena challenge is available after you've reopened the arena. Make your way through the first set of challenges, including a tough final boss, and you'll get this one. Beating folks in Machine Strike isn't too hard, particularly if you do it in the first two settlements. You don't have to win all of their challenge, just one at each spot. 
The Enduring Challenge will be available once you complete the melee pit quests at these three settlements. Best the Pitmaster and you'll be challenged to find the Enduring on the map. After being guided to him, you'll have to beat him and then you'll get this trophy. Dying your armour is also an easy one as well. Plain Song had the first die that I came across, just collect as many blooms as you can while climbing, head over and give them to her. And there we go, there is a quick guide to the more difficult and hidden trophies in Horizon Forbidden West. Obviously there are story ones and the collectible ones, you'll probably get most of them as you're going through the game like this anyway. Thank you for joining us guys, if you've enjoyed the video drop us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe to the channel, all of that good stuff and we will see you next time. Take care, bye bye.